everyone. Welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today, we want to draw reproduce this isometric as you can see in front of you. Um, for every isometric, my first task is to draw what horizontal line and inclined 30 degree, right? Angle 30 degree, right? Because every isometric is produced from what inclined um, 30 degree, right? So let's do that. I will draw horizontal line this way faint line then I'll take my set square this man here this way and draw this is angle of what 30 degree as you can see take it this way way around draw it this way it's, it simply means the angle from this point here to this point is what 30 right 30 my next tax now is to at um, this point, draw a vertical line upward. As you can see what I'm drawing. Now, from the question, from the question, if you look closely from the question, the length is going to be what? 150. Now, all the dimension here, I'm going to reduce them. I'm dividing them by 2. So, take note of that. I'm dividing all the dimension by what? By 2. Because if I produce this, um, this, to very very big but I need to what draw the half size of this so 50 divided by 2 150 divided by 2 I have 75 75 so I'm going to 75 at this point from this point here to this point I'll measure 75 as you can see my 75 now next off my next tax, I've measured this place. This place was 100. 100 divided by 2, I have 50. So I'll measure 50 from this point here to this point is 50. Right? So next up, I need to know my height. The height I'm seeing here is 40 and 65. So if I add them together, 40 plus 65, I have 105. Simply divided by 2. I will have 52.5 so I will measure 52.5 for my meter rule 52.5 52.5 approximately 53 right so let me know 53 from this point is 50 1 2 3 53 is at this point at this point here yeah. right so I will um, take it this way Connect those points together. Take this one at this point, take it upward. At this point here, yeah, take it upward, right? Similarly, at this edge here, yeah, this height, take it to close this. Take it this way to close this up, right? And um, finally, take it this, take it up this way and um, take this to close it up this way. Now, our aim now is to produce out a box. So, every isometric, this you are seeing, every isometric was gotten out from what? A box. Right? A box. So, my next task now is that I need to clean all these unwanted lines. I need to delete them. So, if I do that, I'll be having this. So, here you have the box in front of you. Now, my first task is that at this point here, I'm having what measurement of what 20. I need to get half of 20, that's 10. So I'll measure 10 from this point, 10 from this point. So if I do that from this point here, I will measure out 10. Right? From this point here, I'll measure out 10. So I will what? As you can see, it is thickened. The 10 is thickened. I will thicken it, taking this point to this point. Geometer rule taking this point to this point, right? So, what's my next tax? Um, the height of this, no, okay. I will take in this part here, this line here, that is this line from this point to this point is taken, taking it. So, at that point, the height there is 40. I'll measure out for 40, that's 20. From this point here, I'll measure out 20, 24 at this point. I will take in it downward this way. I will have this. So my next task is to take my set square. I mean this man here. This way. 
and connect it with a thick line to this point as you can see what I'm doing so similarly take it this way to this point connect it down to touch um, this point here I don't need this so connect it very well to touch the center point I have this right so my next task also is to take it this way after having done that take it this way connect this point to this point the thick line with a thick line because it is thickened so what I just doing is copy and paste you can see it's thickened so this way I have that so next up I need to measure out as you can see this point here is 40 from here to here is 40 right so I have to this if I want to get this line here in that part here is the x is what 20 is half of 20 is 10 I'll measure out 10 from this point 10 from this point here to somewhere here is 10 this is uh coming 20 20 so measure out 10 from this point here to this point is 10 right at that point 10 I will take it my C square this way right as you can see draw a faint line downward faint line so therefore I will close this part with a thick line come to this point here close it with a thick line I have this similarly I will take my meter rule to close these two points this point and this point together with a thick line so I have this right so similarly thick, thickening this part here it is thickened from our drawing right it is thickened I have this right it is thickened so we are successfully uh, produce what is down here now what are our next tax if you can if you observe closely if you observe closely from this point here to somewhere here is what 64 64 divided by 2 I have 32 so from this point here from this point from MC point from this down point here I'll measure what I'll measure 32 31 2 at this point right so at that point I will take my T square this way draw a faint line to this point now at this point draw it this way at that point draw it down this way can you see that draw it another way so i don't really need this point clean it to avoid um confusion now i've got my 64 this way right which is what 32 half of 64 is 32 so i've produced out this this way now next up i i know that i know that from here to here is 50 half of 50 will be what 25 this is 25 here right at that point i will take my t square this way at that point draw a faint line downward as you can see they both meet at this point right they meet at this point now at that point is this point you are seeing up here the point is down right so the first task is that i need to dimension it i'm given 75 here as the outer square here i mean it means here to 75 75 75 75 you know we are using a full size we are dividing everything by 2 so divide 75 by 2 75 divided by 2 i have 37.5 so i'm using now the dimension has changed to what 37.5 because 75 divided by 2 i have what 37.5 right that, that, what, that, that is what will be here now how will i establish 37.5 on this place now you just see 37.5 divided by 2 I have 18.75 so therefore I'll measure 18.75 18 is 1.875 from this point to this point right I'll take that this center point here right draw an arc here an arc here up here and down this way so my next tax now at those points at each point this point here this point here this point here and this point here I will take my T square this way draw a faint line right 
paint line this way one go to the upper part here draw a paint line this way as you can see similarly come to this point here take it this way paint line right come to the next point here right at this point paint line so i have it it's, it's like a square right i have this so my next task is what i will take in this part here from this point to this point i'll take in it why because it is taking this point here this point here i'll take in these two points taking these two points i have this right so next up is that i add this um this point here is a result of what of this point so i'll draw a line upward at this point here i will draw a line upward so that line i draw upward i'll measure what 65 i'm using half of the dimension so 65 divided by divided by 2 i have 65 divided by 2 i will have 32.5 so measure 32.5 32.5 32 uh, point 0.5 I have this to this point right so I will similarly taking it in this point I'll take in that point after that I will take my t square at this point here right draw a faint line upward at this point draw a faint line upward as you can see right as you can see so therefore um at this part I've taken I will connect it to this part here I just drew the thick line right this part here i just drew so close it up this way as you can see we are already positioning positioning that figure next up take it this way take this one this way connect it to that faint line you just drew earlier i have this next up take this this way i'll taking it taking this man here similarly um, i will take it upward this way straight line then what take this to close it up right close it up what it means is at this point so taking this part too i will take in this part here so i have successfully produced that um this box you are seeing now my next start is this is closing to this and this is closed i need to close them i will use my t square this way close this point to this point and similarly take it this way to close this point to this point i have this now to avoid confusion right to avoid confusion i need to clean all this unwanted line so as you can see what i have we have been drawing since so if i do that i need to delete all these hidden lines right so if i do that you'll be having this so after clean, deleting those hidden line i have this right so I have this figure here. My next task is that, as you can see from this uh, given diagram, um, the dimension here, so there's an inner square here, right? Inner square here. So I need to what? Get the inner square. My first task is what? Get the inner point. Get the middle point at this. So measure this from this point here to this point. I have 40, right? So if I measure for 40, that's 20. At uh, this point is 20. I have 20 at this point. Similarly, take it to this point to this point. Right? I'll measure the half of it. Right? Half of it, I get um, this point. So, at those points, you will take it this way. At that point, the first point here, draw a faint line down this way. A faint line down. Similarly, the other point here, a faint line down. All right. I get my center. This is my center point. Right? At this center point here, my next task now is what? The dimension given there is what? 50. I'm not using 50. I'm using half of 50. That's 25. Now, question is that how will I establish 25 on this place? So, I will simply divide 25 by 2. I have 12.5. So, I will measure 12.5 for my meter rule. That's 1.2. 12.5 right 12.5 so that's approximately 13 right so from this point 1 10 11 12 13 that is 13 right at this point come to this point here strike an arc upward 
downward um, left and uh, right this way right so at those points I will take my um, T square this way or I will take my T square this way set square this way right at this point draw a faint line come to another point here at this point right draw a faint line similarly take it this way at this point here draw a faint line all right take it to the upper part here at this point here draw a faint line so i will what simply taking that inner box so if i do that i have this this point here to this point right from this point here to this point from this point here to this point and from this point here to this point right as you can see so we are successfully what replicate what is the direct corner of this man here to be this right so what's my next tax here dimension right so if I want to do that I have it this way dimension means putting the values the values you have in the dimension the numbers here inside it so if I do that I have this All right, we have successfully replicate um, the figure as you can see in front of you. If you have found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy.